From inside the United Center, I am Josue Pavone. The Boston Celtics saw their winning streak come to an end against the Chicago Bulls as the Bulls beat the Celtics 121-107. to it looks like a Blackhawks game about to go down behind me, but I swear the Chicago Bulls just beat the Celtics. They really turned things around quickly here in Chicago, and that's exactly was the case for the Bulls. As uh, going into this game, people were wondering if the Chicago Bulls were going to be able to match up against the Celtics, despite having a blowout win to their name from the second week of the regular season. And uh, they do have a loss against the Celtics as well. However, the matchup for the Celtics continues to be tough, as the Bulls proved. DeMar DeRozan went off for 28 points. You got 22 from Zach Levine. Jason Tatum scored a team-high 28 points. And the Celtics managed to get their deficit down to eight in the fourth quarter, but it was not enough. The Chicago Bulls built a 21-point lead. They went on a crucial 15-2 run in the second quarter, regained a double-digit lead midway through the fourth, and essentially never looked back. The Boston Celtics just couldn't get it together in the end. I asked Coach Joe Mazzula what he thought went down in that fourth quarter in terms of them just being one run short of tying this game. And he says that he gives a lot of the credit to the Chicago Bulls. They were hungry for a win. Coming into this game, a lot of people were starting to question how skillful this team is. And going up against the best team in the NBA, he knows that the Celtics are going to have a target on their back. That's exactly what Malcolm Brogdon had to say after this one. He also credited the Chicago Bulls for their effort and for proving just how talented they are and just how tough of a matchup they are for the Celtics, as he put it. You can't lose two out of three games against a team and say that they're not challenging. So the Chicago Bulls certainly have the Celtics' number, at least after the first three games, first three matchups of the regular season. This segment of the Garden Report is brought to you by our good friends over at Calm.com. Head over to Calm.com slash Garden, where you can save 40% off a premium subscription just for watching the Garden Report. That's Calm.com slash Garden. Head there to get that premium subscription 40% off. Such a good deal if you haven't done it already. That's Calm.com slash Garden. Next up for the Celtics is Luka Doncic. The Dallas Mavericks going up against Jason Tatum. Tatum was asked about it. He also gave props to the Chicago Bulls, calling them a talented team. But, of course, he is looking forward to this marquee matchup against Luka Doncic. That's going to go down the night before Thanksgiving back at TD Garden. The Celtics finishing the three-game road trip 2-1. and one. The winning streak is out of the way. Maybe they can start a new one. It ends here in Chicago. But uh, something tells me that that's not the – the number one thing on everyone's mind, right, of all the Celtics players <laughs> go, coming out of Chicago and heading back home. Uh, I'm sure they missed their bed. I'm sure they missed the home cooking, as uh, Jason Tatum talked about after the game. Not to say that they went into this game half-hearted, but it just seemed like the Chicago Bulls was just too much for them. This is a tough matchup for the Celtics. And Jason Tatum also talked about how the beginning of the game, they have to get off to better starts, especially on the road. It seemed like it haunted them throughout the night, according to Tatum. And even in that second half, when they were able to get things back to an eight-point game with five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. The Chicago Bulls push right back. And you can credit DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, and a very talented offensive team in the Chicago Bulls that made things very tough for the Celtics when it came to completing a comeback. This segment is also brought to you by our good friends over at Athletic Greens. Head over to athleticgreens.com slash garden and take care of your health if you haven't already, okay? You get a year supply of vitamin D. You get travel packs to go with you in case you go on the road and you don't want to forget about your health just because you're on vacation. Athletic Greens has got you covered. That's athleticgreens.com slash garden. Sign up today. That's going to do it for me on the road. I am Josue Pavone. I thought I could give the Celtics a little bit of luck to stretch this winning streak out just a bit longer, but that wasn't the case against the Bulls. This is a tough matchup, and I don't want to get too ahead of myself here in terms of talking about first-round matchups and all that stuff, but it's got to be on the back of some Celtics fans' mind as we're going to have to wait and see uh, how this thing breaks down in the Eastern Conference. The competitive Eastern Conference, where do the Chicago Bulls stand against teams like the Celtics and the Cleveland Cavaliers and the other top teams in the East like the Milwaukee Bucks that we're all going to be waiting to see how things break down at the top of the conference. The Celtics, meanwhile, they slipped to 13-4, and four, still number one in the Eastern Conference, and we'll see if they can bounce back from this loss when they get back home at TD Garden to take on Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. That should be a really good matchup. Once again, I'm Joseph Pavone coming at you from the United Center. Signing off, I will see you guys next time. The Boston Celtics lose to the Chicago Bulls 121 to 107 and we'll see if they bounce thing they'll see if they can bounce back Wednesday night at TD Garden. I'll see you guys next time.